My idea for today is that we have this kind of internal market where we can make trades. And on the one hand, we have suffering, and on the other hand, we have satisfaction. Uh, so we can trade suffering and get some satisfaction. And this would be, for example, exercise where we are doing things that are deliberately uncomfortable. And during the time of the workout, we feel uncomfortable. And hopefully suffering is maybe an extreme word for, and it's not necessarily full on suffering, but it's certainly uncomfortable. Uh, and we deliberately take on this time of discomfort and in exchange we get satisfaction we get a reward that the rest of the day is just a little bit better uh, the rest of our lives just a little bit better in exchange for this time that we put in to suffer and we can also make this trade on the other side example with things like drugs and other forms of escapism we can get satisfaction immediately some kind of pleasure and comfort and satisfaction can be immediately obtained with the snap of the fingers um, but then the trade for that being that after the time of the drug or the escapism ends uh, we found we find our lives are maybe not quite as as good as they could have been um, in case of some heavy drugs and seriously damaging escapism it can actually cause damage to us that can directly make our lives worse um, and in the case of simple time wasting escapism uh, things like surfing the net for uh, you know random content then we can't quite say that it's directly damaged us but it's simply the loss of time that after having spent this time of satisfaction comfort and pleasure uh, in doing the time wasting activity we now find ourselves with less time to actually do anything useful and so all the possible progress that we can make in life is delayed and that leads to future suffering uh, so there's the time cost there's the direct damage of, of habits that are directly bad for us. Um, and there's the general kind of dissatisfaction uh, that sort of sinks in if we try to claim these sort of cheap satisfactions of escapism. So that is the trade going in the other way, uh, where it can appear like a very... Uh, good prospect that hey I can feel good right now uh, how great is that and I'll deal with the trade later it's sometimes the metaphor of a uh, of a credit card you, you can look at this as as an account with a credit card so that you can withdraw money at any time you can withdraw satisfaction uh, and pleasure at any time uh, but you are building up a debt if you do so with the credit card uh, you're sort of borrowing against your future suffering in order to enjoy right now whereas the opposite side where we are choosing suffering that's like earning income that ends up in your account instead of making uh, a purchase with a credit card you can earn income to 
uh, end up in your account and then make purchases with what is in your account, with the, in, with the money that you've gained through income. And this could be through your workout, through training of any kind, through, through work of any kind. And of course, it's not a simple one-to-one uh, -one trade, and it's not that any kind of suffering will do. It's not simply a matter of, I can bang my head against a wall, and then I'll feel better, uh, you know, uh, when I'm done. Um, not, not recommended. Um, so, it's not, it's not automatic that any form of suffering will ever have a payoff. Um, and so it, it would be, we have to be careful about the types of suffering we undergo, and it's not simply for the sake of suffering. As, but if we undertake useful work, which is very uncomfortable, but we know will be helpful for us, then we can suffer now, suffer for the moment, and in exchange, get greater overall life satisfaction.